Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to the studio. Monique here, Rachel Thompson with me in the studio and tonight we are talking about kimonos. We love them, we love talking to you guys by the way, so if you've got any questions during tonight's live stream, send them on through. Firstly, before we even begin though Rachel, we have to say hello. Hi Jen Turley. Hi. We can see you watching from OVR Hi. Marino. Hi Corinne, good to see you on the stream as well. We love you guys. Really good to have you uh, with us. By the way, if you want to know more about what we're doing, if you send me a message, ask questions, be part of the live stream. Tonight we are talking about this gorgeous garment that we are both wearing. I know, right? It has been the talk of social media. Everybody's been commenting on the fact that we've both been wearing this. This is our favorite kimono. And so Rachel and I, firstly, Rachel, yes. fashion is a whole new thing for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, but you like to dress up, right? I love, love. Yep. Excellent. So if you haven't met Rachel before, Rachel is actually a mum, a very hot grandmother as well. She is a, a <laughs> professional competitive athlete as well. She's also a mortgage broker and a yoga teacher. And you are super, super busy. So what's your biggest challenge with getting dressed in the morning? Deciding what to wear for the day. Mm -hmm. Like what's the energy, what's the image that I want to protect. And at the moment, loving colour. Me too. Yeah. Me too. So if you've been following me in social media, you probably know that I have always been wearing black most of my life. I was told black will make you look more slender. I was also told that wearing colour by somebody very special to me. Somebody told me, don't wear those colours that you like to wear. I used to wear a myriad of colours, mm -hmm. like seriously. I got told not to wear them because um, I would make, make that person feel embarrassed because people would stare at me because of the colours I wear. But now you know what? This is my go-to a barbecue outfit, my old comfortable t-shirt, and that really sums up everything that I'm about. It's about being comfortable in my own skin, being comfortable in the clothes I wear, and like Rachel says, it's about en enveloping the vibe of the day. Who do I want to be today? And being able to express that through my clothing. Nice to see you all on the stream. Raja, I'm glad you think um, that you like the blue top as well with the kimono. Yes. We're going to delve into that today. Okay, so when it comes to kimono, have you worn many before in your life? I, I've got a couple which I acquired recently, you've seen. Uh, but no, not really. It's um, generally been a pretty loud, kind of bold colour statement. Absolutely. Which hasn't, hasn't been my thing. Well, traditional kimonos can either be super patterned or they can be just really plain. And I'm going to show you guys a few examples of the, I think I have eight kimonos in my wardrobe, maybe more, I don't even know. I'm going to show you some different styles and also for those of you who are going through transition with your bodies like I am, so you might be losing weight or you might be bulking up because you, you're feeling underweight, whatever your story is and whatever your body shape is, we're going to show you through a whole bunch of different kimono styles, but I'm going to give you, give you a heads up right now. The kimono we're actually wearing is designed for every body shape. So Rachel, you're a classic apple body shape. You, uh, no, you're a classic hourglass. <laughs> so you can see we are both completely opposite body shapes. So Rachel in that photo is an hourglass. I am a, called a classic apple body shape. So I'm bigger through the midsection. And yet the one kimono works for both of us. That's because it's fitted through the shoulders. So it gives me a bit of shape, which I wouldn't normally have, but it drapes over the bits that I don't want to show. And that's the same for you, right, Rachel? Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Yeah. All right, so let's look at a couple of different shapes of kimono. So if you've got a kimono in your wardrobe, you're going to see examples of what you might already have and why this may just be the perfect kimono for you. Okay, let's take a first one. Now, Rachel's going to pop some of these on as well so you can see them. So remember, Rachel's a classic hourglass uh, shape, body shape. So everything's going to look a little different you, depending on what your body shape is, but I'll give you some tips and tricks. This is a classic square kimono shape. It's a shorter kimono as well. This works really well with wide lead pants, but because it's quite a casual looking one with some vintage elements, why I love this is you can wear it with my old t-shirt and you can wear it with denim shorts, or you can dress it up with a wide lead pantsuit like Rachel's wearing right now. So this is really Art Deco styled, and I really love this. I love the fact that there's some beautiful detail there. You've got some a vintage looking velvet um, as the detail, and you've got those tassels. It really does remind me out of something from the 1920s. How does it feel? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It is really yeah, nice, is. eh? Yeah. I just think it's a classic colour. What would you wear this with? I'd wear it with something black. So because it's quite bold and there's a few different colours going on already, um, uh, and, and maybe even my pantsuit has just got a little bit much to it. So maybe something really simple and plain. I yeah. totally agree. 
I've worn this a million times. I've worn it normally with a black tank top. So because it's quite a big shape, I don't want to add extra bulk to my body shape. So I would go for something fitted, something that has a bit of ruching over my tummy so I, you don't see my rolly bits. And I would always go for a black fitted pant or a dark jean. And I love this. I've worn it a million times and I've worn it for both dressing up and for red carpet events, which is kind of the look you've got going yeah. on. But I've also worn it to barbecues. So again, versatile and it looks lovely. All right, let's take a look okay, at the next cool. one. So I've got seven, seven kimonos, I think, to show you. And each one has a, quite a different shape. Oh, hi. Gosh, there's so many of you guys on here. Please feel free to say hi and ask questions. So this is the perfect kimono if you like to go to the beach in summer, but you don't like to put it all on display. So this is actually made of a chiffon as well. It's really, really boxy. So if you're like me and you're a classic apple body shape, this is not your ideal sort of kimono because it's really overwhelming when it comes to fabric. And the only way to make this style of kimono work is in fact to wear a form figure hugging outfit underneath, like a black bodycon dress, or you can wear it really well as a jacket over top of say a bikini, or perhaps over top of your one piece swimsuit, or maybe like a boy leg swimsuit. Did you want to try this one on too? I, I thought that that might be a bit loud, but Oh Maybe no, okay. not when you're in okay. my house, nothing okay. is ever too yes, loud. of course I want to try it on. So if you want to wear it as a kimono, <laughs> obviously you can wear it frontwards, but if you're going to wear it as a dress, you turn it around, you put the button at the back so you have this beautiful open back, and then you pop on this really nice um, black form, uh, like a bodycon dress underneath. So that works for you. On me, this is far too boxy on my body shape. How does it feel though? Oh, it's gorgeous. I, it mean, I really could nice. imagine wearing it over something. I mean, this is obviously a little bit flowy and loose, whereas wearing it over something uh, much more fitting, like you said, a, a swimming um, swimsuit. You know, swimsuit. Yeah. Yeah. Really good, again, for those events in the summertime. It's incredibly light. And I like the fact that it gives your arms a little bit of coverage mm, as well. So yeah. if you're like me and you've got a little bit of overhang, or as I like to <laughs> call them, like wings of fabulousness, Aww, yeah. um, you don't want to show those off perhaps. Well, I certainly don't. So it gives oh. me a little bit of coverage. Yeah. Excellent. That's Very cool. nice work there, Rachel. Okay. Okay. Now remember too, we are wearing what we have decided is the perfect kimono. If you want to know more about this kimono, by the way, you can actually grab that off my website. I know... A heap of you have been to my website and actually had a look at it. This is actually from a new collection that Rachel and I have put together called Everyday Fabulous. And we call it Everyday Fabulous because it's the things that we like to wear and yep. share. The things that we want to feel fabulous about every day. So there's the details there. It's a floral long line kimono that I'm wearing right now. It's available in four colorways on the website and you can see sizes small to X, double extra large. The retail price that we've, that's loaded into the website is $34, but right now for the next two weeks, you can grab it for $29. New, uh, shipping in New Zealand is $3.50. Um, I'm not sure about international. I have to check with Pete the boss man. But all you need to do is go to the website below, moniquebradley.tv, and check it out. And look in the shop, click the shop <laughs> button. Okay, so this is a great kimono that you can wear summer or winter. So it's it's kind of a, it's a, actually a polyester. It feels a little bit like you might think of a wool or some sort of mm. woolly fabric, but it's actually really, really light. So this, if you hold your arms out, this is a bat wing kimono. So you can see the shape there. If you're bigger like me, you it can make you look like you've got extra bulk. And if you're a petite, it can actually overwhelm your frame. So the best way to work with a kimono of this shape is to actually wear, again, go for a bodycon, go for figure hugging if it's winter, go for a black merino fitted top, so something that creates a really nice silhouette, maybe go for some jeggings or some uh, jeans and pop them inside some, work bo in some uh, knee high boots for winter. It's a really cool look. With you, because you are a petite, I would actually pop a belt around the middle of this to really accentuate your waist and really create a perfect silhouette for you. It feels really nice, eh? Mm, yeah, it's lovely. I love the sleeve length on this. I think it's really nice. Mm. And again, if you've got a nice long black merino top, the arms will come through. You'll look really elegant. It's one of my favourite looks, yeah, actually. That's cool. But you make sure you have to pair it right. Excellent. Hi, Raja. Raja's just said, greeting, ladies. Face white, it's not necessary for Japanese wearing, right? No, that's right, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're going modern day kimono. Yes. So what I learned when I was researching about kimonos, um, kimono is actually a Japanese word that means garment. 
So it's a very generic term and then the word kimono that we know today is really for any sort of slightly boxy style jacket garments. The one that Rachel is putting on right now is actually a very traditional Japanese kimono and I love this. So this is from my wardrobe. I was gifted this and I love the detail on the back. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I ha have however really struggled with this because on my body shape, so I don't have really strong shoulders, it just overwhelms my frame. So the only way I've learned to be able to wear this one is I have a red, sort of a reddish bodycon dress that I wear underneath and I would wear a belt to cinch in the waist. Mm, nice. But fabric wise it feels amazing and if you hold your arms out Rachel, you'll see, see that traditional T square kimono shape. It's great on the right body shape, but if you are lacking silhouette like I am, so if your tummy's just a little bit more fabulous, a little bit more voluptuous, a little more curvaceous, curvaceous then you've got to really think about what am I going to do to create that silhouette. So something like a bodycon dress, make sure you've got your support garments on. I love support garments, I'm a huge fan. Or consider, because of the way that this pops out with a traditional kimono, you can actually put the belt through the midsection there. Quite neat, eh? So it's a really great garment if you do manage to find one maybe at like a, a specialist store, a retro or a vintage store. I think it's the ultimate in elegance. However, what you wear underneath is really important. And because there's so much black, what I would do is isolate one of the colors in the design on the back. Or the inside. Yeah, or the inside. Pull out one of those colors and go for a jumpsuit in one of those colors on the back. A gold jumpsuit with that, with a cinched in waist, would actually look a million dollars. It would look red carpet. How does it feel? Yeah, it's gorgeous. And it was quite appropriate to put this on after the description of kimono, actually, I thought. I thought so too. Yeah. <laughs> the timing of that was really good. So true, it's so gorgeous. true. Thank you, Raja, for your contribution there. I really appreciate <laughs> it. All right, we'll take a look at the next one. And by the way, if you just joined the stream, hey, Monique here, nice to see you on tonight's Style Fix. This is my lovely friend, Rachel, who is Hi. my beautiful model. <laughs> but she's also been working with me to help find garments that we really want to wear and we want to share with everybody else so we've hunted the globe to find our favorite kimonos and the kimono that I'm wearing right now is a great example of it I love it because it comes in three different colors so whether you want to wear this is on a brown base and whether you want to dress it up to wear it for maybe or dress it down like I'm wearing to wear to a barbecue by the way those holes are a design feature in my t-shirt <laughs> I'm just gonna put vintage, it out there vintage. it is vintage yeah um, so whether you want to or dress it up you can there's a heap of colors in these kimonos too so you can wear it with a bunch of different things like I've got my yellow earrings on I've worn it with bright blue Rachel's been wearing it with a bright red color it's a really versatile garment and it comes in four colorways so you've got black navy this brown color or a pink color they're all on my website details will pop up on the screen throughout the live so you can go to my website monikebradley.tv and you can order it for yourself because it really is cool like seriously I mean check out the price yeah seriously $29 totally yeah absolutely. and it's so good so there we go all the details <laughs> head to my website a bunch of sizes from size uh, small to double XL um, but check the measurements first that's the one thing I would say and make sure you get the right size for you all right next kimono again another tea box kimono love this I wear it all the time particularly because it's got bright pink in there and I got bright pink pants but if you've got a kimono which is the same shape, again, you have to think about what am I going to pair with it? Mm. Because there's a lot of fabric and you can get really overwhelmed. Mm. Whether you're bigger or you're smaller, it doesn't matter. Mm. Uh, it will, the fabric can really overwhelm you. So for me, I wear fluoro bright pink pants and I would, would always wear a fitted t-shirt underneath to create shape. How do you feel in this, being a petite? Uh, funny, because when I look down at it, I think, oh, crikey, it's a little bit colorful. And then when I look on the screen, I think, Oh yeah, it kind of picks up little bits of my outfit. So it it's does. not, it, it's interesting, you can put something on and feel a certain way and when you look at yourself, you can feel quite different. That's so, so yeah. true. Yeah, so what, what you see outside isn't necessarily what's going on here. So, so true, yeah. great. Yeah, that's a very good point. What I love about kimonos, particularly modern kimonos, is that they are highly printed these days. The things we're seeing in the market, mm. so we've done a heap of shopping trips now, and we've seen so many kimonos that are really heavily printed. Yes. It is the one garment you need in your wardrobe. Why? Because you can dress it up, you can dress it down. Yep. In fact, I'm gonna show you very shortly 18 different ways you can wear one kimono. So dress down. I'm not even kidding. 
dress down yep. and dressed up. Yeah, right. A hundred percent. So the comparison. So I mean, you with that on, you look red carpet ready, right? I feel so much more elegant than I thought I would tonight. And why why I love it too is that the quality, like the fabric, it's a beautiful chiffon. It's a really light garment, but you feel like I feel covered, but not heavy. Mm, and yes. I think that's so nice. So yeah. I've got a couple of recarpet events coming up and I'll be wearing this, probably one with a little cocktail dress, like a fitted dress underneath, and one with a black pantsuit. So really versatile, but then this is my go-to for a barbecue. And mm. I've actually teamed it up. I don't know if you guys can see my shoes. I'll move back. But I actually have leopard print shoes on because they have the same color match as the kimono itself. So I can actually wear nude shoes. I can wear kind of yellowy shoes, brown shoes, blue shoes creamy white shoes i can wear kind of whatever i like really because there's so many colors in here and that's what makes it really super versatile okay so you've got a classic beautiful bat wing kimono on here now i love this this is a one size fits all garment you look like a butterfly <laughs> how does it feel it's actually gorgeous. Uh, again, I thought that it might be quite overwhelming with this, but there's only the two colours, so black and white, and it actually works quite nicely. Eat two different prints, who'd have known? I know, right? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to address that too. Yeah. What Rachel actually did, which was a really smart move tonight, is she's chosen an outfit with a v-neck, and a v-neck suits most body shapes, to be fair. It creates an illusion of basically drawing the eye down the body. So why that's important is if you're going to wear a garment which has a lot of fabric in it, which can overwhelm your shape, you still want to create that long, lean illusion. And by adding shoes on here, and even if you had your hair up in a high mm. bun, yep. you'd actually cheat your height to weight ratio and you yes. would actually end up looking longer and leaner, yep. the taller, and the more you use illusion to draw the eye down. Why this is cool is this print, when she pulls her arms out, what is it doing? It's drawing the eye, eye down. down and that's something you really want to look for so if you're going to go for a kimono regardless of your body shape i would go for a long line kimono as well because mm. it's going to draw the eye down if you're going to go for a short kimono wear a wide leg pant or go for a long skinny jean or something that's going to draw the eye down because it's about creating that illusion so i love this i think it's fantastic i was given this by the lovely lynette hill our naturopath thanks lynette, thanks, lynette. we love that <laughs> um i love it i think it's absolutely beautiful really comfortable again you can dress it up and dress it down that's what i love about kimonos mm. it's the yeah. one garment everybody should need all right do you want to get back into our yes. kimono? Yes, let's do ours. Okay, so if you guys love our kimono as much as we do, remember it comes in four colours and it comes in a bunch of sizes. You just head to my website, moniquebradley.tv. It's already loaded there. It's in the front page. But what I want to tell you is that there are only limited numbers in each size. So I want you to, if, you, if you're thinking of ordering it, the price point, $29, which is the reduced price, is only there for two weeks. All right, you got it? two weeks and we're only taking orders up until i think the middle of november yeah or even first week in november I think. first week of november so get in quick. So, yeah please i'm not even kidding yeah. um, you just need to get in, in touch karen hunter i have short kimonos and longer ones because i'm shorter absolutely so so karen what you want to do is if you can if you can wear some wedges that would be really cool or if you're going to go for a kimono for you if you are shorter i would actually go for a um a shorter one would look really nice with some skinny jeans or if you go for a long line you want to keep one color underneath to create that long line look mm. that will work really really well and some for you. wedges some yeah, heels wedges. yeah and nude nude shoes not nude body <laughs> just saying no this is a show rachel <laughs> What the yeah. Hell? yeah, yeah. To give I'm you not that. Sure what uh, <laughs> uh, Raja just said, how much for the um, for the Monique wearing? And does Lord Pete Ward going to wear it on Friday? I'm going to make him just for you, Raja. I'm going to make <laughs> Pete wear this. He ha he does, however, have quite big guns. So he might. And he's quite buff in the shoulders. So I'm not sure that he can fit it, but I'll I'll grab him a bigger size if that will make you happy. And if you will buy everyone in India. One of our kimonos. How does that sound, Raja? That sounds like a good yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good deal. Excellent. Go, Excellent. Raja. Go. Oh, new comment underneath. Hi guys, it's nice to be. It's nice that you're here with us, by the way. Oh, Debbie Smith. 
Oh, heart and smiley face back to you too. Big heart back to you. So this is it. This is the kimono that we love to wear and share, part of the Everyday Fabulous uh, range that we've created. So you may have seen the High Low Miracle top that we've both been wearing. Yes. And you may have seen the bomber jacket that we've both been wearing. I've got our earrings on tonight as well. So they come in a bunch of different colours. Uh, some, of the, some of our favourite garments are on there, but they don't have prices yet because we're just finalising the deals with our suppliers in China. This is what we're doing for you guys. But here's the final tips. If you have a kimono already, because I'm not just about the hard sell, because you guys know me better than that. I want to give you some tips on how you can style your existing kimono. And if you don't have one, you know what to do because this is a must have for this season. Whether you want to look boho and relaxed or you want to dress up like Rachel does, this is the one garment that will suit you all year round. What else do you have to tell them before we go into the final tips? I think you've just got to check out what's in your wardrobe and find that statement piece too. This is actually a real statement piece because you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with a dress and you can use all that black in your wardrobe. You can use all those plain colours in your wardrobe because you've got something a little fancy. That's so true. Yeah. Now you're a, you're a mortgage broker and you're working in an environment which is all mostly men. Yep. It's a complete sausage fest, let's yep. be fair. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. When you turn up to work looking this gorge, <laughs> What is the response? I, I think it's an energy that you give out. So when you turn up to work and you're feeling good and you're feeling feminine and you're feeling colourful, then that's actually what you project to people. So at the end of the day, so that's got to be infectious. In a, in a good way, right? In a good way. It's yeah. the best kind of infectious. Yeah. We, we like good infectious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before we head away, we're going we're gonna to talk you guys through some styling tips when it comes to wearing a kimono because there's heaps of things you need to know. First of all, like Rachel's done tonight, pair your kimono with a jumpsuit for a casual but chic look. Your kimono can easily double as a bathing suit cover-up. We've seen we that. like that. Wear it at the beach if you're chilly. If you've got a short kimono, which we've shown you tonight, wear it with a wide leg pant or consider going for a flared jean. It gives you a totally 70s vibe, dude. Oh, dude. A white tee with jean shorts. You've kind of got that going on with the jeans. I do. It could be kind of boring, boring. But yeah. you're not boring. Make the outfit more fun by adding the kimono with some print and colour. That's true. You can also add a summer dress. I'll tell you what. With a kimono, an A-line, long-line dress, your classic maxi looks amazing and will look super chic. And then break up that all-black ensemble. I mentioned it before with your pantsuit, with your dress, with your pants, and add that pattern. The kimono's perfect for that. Now, Debbie Smith has just said, can I get one, please, darling? Go to my website, Honey Pie Angel Face, yep. TV, and I'll send it to you. By the way, I know some of you are asking, how long does it take for stuff to get here? We actually work directly with a distributor who is in China. So we, as soon as you guys place your order, we send that order straight through to our distributor, and um, they send it back to us. So you can see it here. This is the kimono itself. It comes in the, the different colours. Rachel and I are both wearing the brown base there, but it also comes in a beautiful blue. Uh, it comes on a black base and it comes actually in a pink, but that colours, that base colour is kind of peachy. Mm. So really good for those of you who are warm tone if you want a really nice complementary colour. But for those of you who are cool tone, it will make a really big contrast to your skin tone as well. Mm. So yeah, really nice. Okay, where were we up to? Um, um, you've just said break up the leggings. Yep. I've just said all white ensembles work with a kimono which is pretty much what i can do tonight should i desire to wear white pants i don't often do it in fact i don't do it at all and it's a great <laughs> way to break up monochrome if that's what's happening in your wardrobe and you can throw a kimono over a graphic tee and jeans for a fun casual outfit and monique's doing that tonight absolutely yeah. in fact i've got some t-shirts coming that say um nothing to wear Ooh. It's a black t-shirt nice. with white writing that says nothing to wear. Love. I want to wear that under my kimono. Yes, I think totally. it would be super cute. Uh, you can also pair a super long kimono like we're doing with shorts and heels. So it doesn't overpower you. Why I love this look as well is that if you've got a really nice pair of dress shorts with a cuff, make sure they cover all your, your rolly bits on your thighs because let's be honest, even super super slender people still yes, don't like yes, their thighs, yes, right? Yep. Um, you you can it. go for really nice dress shorts, particularly in the summer, with a, a lovely long kimono just like this, and you can pair it up with a really nice heel. 
If you are a petite, I would always go for a, a higher heel yep. with a pointy toe. That's pretty much what Rachel's got on. You've got a nice pointy or I had a pointy one on today. Yeah, yeah, it works really well. Again, it's about creating that illusion down the leg and through the toe. So that's what you want to do. Um, if you go, if you really want to amp it up, I would always go for, um, if you're going to go for shorts, I would go for shorts and a tank in the same color. So it looks a bit like what Rachel's doing tonight. You tuck the tank into the shorts and you've got basically like a play suit or a jumpsuit. Mm. And it looks really elegant and you can get away with that in the office with corporate wear on those super hot days. I am totally gonna do that. I have down to the knee dress shorts and I always got told that I couldn't wear shorts. But I think that was just other people's expectations. Time for so a new story. I am gonna do that and new take story. some photos and I'm gonna rock those uh, platform stilettos and put those on. Excellent. Watch the space. I totally love that. I can't <laughs> wait to yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the other thing too, is if you're not comfortable wearing a stiletto heel, go for wedges. Wedges will give your legs a really lovely shape. They'll give you the heel, but they'll keep you feeling comfortable and supported. And the most important thing about dressing to suit your body is that you feel comfortable first. Mm. Style is basically how you feel in your own skin. And when you smile, that is the best look you can ever wear. Absolutely. So feel comfortable first. All right, final tips. Here we go. When it's colder, like you've seen, go for one of those bigger size kimono jackets, but, but really pair it up with a fitted long sleeve top, jeans or jeggings, and boots all the way. And another look is to wear a belt with your kimono. So we saw that tonight when I cinched in the waist. So giving you that shape that you need. And you could add tall boots and go glam. Oh, so true, yep. so true. Um, make, make sure you wear like a tight short dress um, underneath your kimono if it's bigger and it will actually make things look a little bit more daytime friendly as well. So you, if, it, if, it's, if you're looking a little bit mutton dressed as lamb, let's be fair, some of us <laughs> do that. If it is really tight and short, Adding a kimono makes it a little bit more friendly on the eye. Mm. That's all I'm going to say. Because nobody wants to see all your bits, lumps and bumps hanging out, all your booty in anybody's face. And it nobody... classes it up, right? It, it actually it. does, yeah, especially it does. when you add a really nice pair of heels. Yeah. Right, Next point. And then you could tie your kimono in the front. So you could almost sort of belt it and give yourself a little bit of shape, maybe something a little unique. Oh, I like that actually. Now remember too, maxi dresses. Maxi dresses work extremely well with kimonos, particularly the long line one that we're working with. So if you can find a maxi dress in whatever color is the base color of your um, kimono mm. that you choose, it will work really well, but you can also contrast it with one of the feature colors in the kimono. So have a think about what's gonna work best for you and what's gonna be most versatile in your wardrobe. And you can wear your kimono for a casual look uh, with cropped boyfriend jeans or oh, yeah. like last week in the live stream I was wearing my jeans rolled up, they were a little bit faded, dark yep. and light, and it just gives you a totally di different look. I totally agree. Um, most kimonos that we're buying in the market or seeing in the market do have a pattern, but don't feel like you can't wear it with solids. You can actually pair it up with other patterns as well, like Rachel's doing with a jumpsuit. She's got f um, uh, floral um, yeah. imagery in there, kind of embroidered imagery. And I'm pairing my, mine up with leopard skin tr um, shoes. I mean, fabulous. Yeah. Hello. Fabulous. Yeah. And finally, Rachel. And then you can belt your kimono over a dress. So again, we're talking about giving yourself a different silhouette. You don't want to look boxy. You want to play to your strengths. Yes. And remember too, you are never fully dressed without a smile. So good fashion and style comes back <laughs> to feeling good in your own skin. And if, if we're trying to sell you anything, that's what we're trying to sell yeah. you. Look good and feel good by yeah. starting from Starts the here. inside. Yeah. Inside. We've got some comments come through. So Raja just said, um, Raja just said, you women are a delight to, to watch. Hearts back oh, to you, Raja. Thank you. thank you so much. Jenny Thompson said, looking good, girls. Hearts Thanks. back to you. Thanks, Mama. Uh, Debbie Smith um, <laughs> said, thank you as well. Debbie, you are so welcome. Melissa Eden, I can't wait for you to get your hands on one. We're going to ship one over to Australia for you. The hardest job you're going to have is deciding which colour you want to yeah, wear. Yeah, that's a tough decision. So for us, this is the ultimate kimono. Why do we love it? It suits every body shape. It's designed to fit your shoulders and hang down over your body. So whether you're a classic hourglass like Rachel or an apple like me, a juicy, tasty apple. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of yeah. like that. Hourglasses, not so much. <laughs> 
but you're fabulous. <laughs> yeah, fabulous. Um, regardless of your body shape, this is designed to work for you. And like I said, the hardest decision is going to be what colour. Yeah. Tough. Actually, at twenty nine dollars, I bought I one of each. You trying to make that decision? I think I want yeah, one of each. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, if you're not sure which colour is going to suit you, all you need to do is choose by looking at the veins in your arm. Final tip. So many tips tonight. Oh yes, you follow them. I know, right? Have a look at the veins in your arm. If your veins are bright blue, you are cool toned naturally, and if your veins are green, you are warm toned. So my veins are quite green in here. I'm not sure how how well you can see that. Oh, you yeah, pretty well. So my veins are green, so I'm actually a warm tone. So the brown works really well on me. Black is more of a contrast. Navy works really well on me. And the pink would make me feel a little insipid. So with Rachel, Rachel's also warm toned as well. So she can go for the brown or the black. Uh, sorry, the brown or the navy would yes. work really well as a beautiful contrast against our skin tones. But the way I see it is take a look at the, um, the images of the, the kimonos and see which one works for you. Okay, we've got to head away. Before we go, as Rachel Thompson, the mortgage broker, the mum, the grandma, the, the athlete, the fashionista that you have become, <laughs> what final fashion tips do you want to share with everybody watching? Because there's millions of people watching. Hi, everyone. At the end of the day, whatever you wear, when you make a decision, own it. Like walk out the door and own it and feel like a celebrity, feel glam, feel energetic. Because like we were talking today about the different colours that we were wearing that suit us and that we love. And it's like, we actually don't want to wear black anymore and we've got so much black in our wardrobes. So and we're true. like, well actually today, I'm gonna to choose a little bit of colour because that's how I'm feeling. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really exciting. It actually. is really exciting. So, yeah. And final advice from me, as my friends, if you want to transform your life, turn your wardrobe from drab to dazzle. Did you see what I just yeah. did? Where did the attitude come from? <laughs> I'm not sure. It's in there. It's so in there. <laughs> and now I am letting it out. And you can do the very same. Head to my website, monikebradley.tv. You'll see gorgeous photos of Rachel and moi in there doing our thing and just being real. And that's what we're here to do. Yeah. Sharing our love of feeling good yeah. with all of you. And what thank we like you. to wear. Yeah, and what we like yeah. to wear and share. Yeah. Absolutely. A big thank you. Oh, more comments. Oh, stop it, you guys. No, keep it going. Raja, I have green and blue both. What am I? I would say you're actually warm tone, Raja. Um, knowing the pigment of your skin, uh, I would say you're warm tone. So you probably would look really nice in this one. But because of the, the depth of tone in your skin, you'd actually really look nice in the pink one. So mm, if you're thinking you of buying something, say, for your mum or your girlfriend... There you go, sorted.co.nz. <laughs> Excellent. All right, we've got to, we've got to head away. We've yeah. got wine to drink yeah. and people to talk to. MoniquePradley.tv. That's what it's about. Yeah. A big shout out to Lord Pete Ward. Thanks, Lord. He's our producer. He's that online guy that makes yeah. all of the streaming happen. I just talk. He does the IT stuff. He's, he's clever. He's yeah. clever. He is so clever. So clever. Yeah. We've got to go. Yeah, see ya. All right, bye. See you guys. Okay, see you next week. Bye. bye.